Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ronald LaBelle with Tough Dad. We're at Grave 23 in Fall River on Bedford Street. At 486 Bedford Street in Fall River. And uh, it's a brand new food truck or a food trailer that just opened up. So we're going to try some poutine. Now, it's French Canadian, by the way. It's a delicacy out there. It's uh, the French Canadian delicacy that uh, is very popular out there. And I'm going to try the, uh, the poutine over here and see how good it is. Uh, be, me being French Canadian descent myself, I'm looking forward to um, trying the poutine. So, and I'm also French Canadian. So, a few other nationalities, but today, showing my uh, French side. All right, everyone. So, we just got back. We got the poutine, which is right in this thing. And uh, I just got to show you what it looks like. Oh, this here is poutine, which is French fries with some brown gravy and cheese curds. I mean, just look at that. Now, yes, I have had poutine before, um, mainly at home. That's where a lot of us would around here would have grown up eating it. But I mean, on occasion, you will find some places like hot dog stands and whatnot that will sell you some uh, French fries with gravy. It's very tasty, by the way, full of flavor. Very hot. Yeah. I love the the cheese curds. Smells delicious. <laughs> oh, look at that string from the cheese. Oh yeah. Now this one here they call the Crabes Original. But they do have others. Mm. Oh, a cheese curd is like very strong but tasty. <clears throat> and I mean look at this, this is cheese curd. Um, this is the way you would normally get it in Canada. But, I mean, they do serve it all the ways, too, in Canada. But, traditionally, it's the French fries, the brown uh, gravy and cheese curd. Brown gravy, which is, uh, I think it's the Saint-Aubert. Saint fries are nice. You can tell they're hand-cut. Fresh cheese curds. The gravy has good flavor. Oh, yeah. And the fries are nice and soaked in the, in the gravy. Now, I know if my uh, Pepe was still alive, which would be grandfather in French, he would like this. I'm on the right here in the parking lot, the VFW, which is right over there. It's on a very busy part of Bedford Street. Bedford Street, because you also uh, got the the Gala Market over there, which you've seen Ronan and I do. I believe that was in season one when we were doing the market series. And you also got CBS, Bank 5, and then you got JC's Gas right over there. So, I mean, hey, you're picking up a prescription or something, maybe getting gas, going to the bank, maybe just shopping or something over there at the market. No, I'm going to buy, check it out. I mean, even though it's just french fries and gravy with cheese curds. I like it so far. And as we're eating and um, enjoying this, there's a whole bunch of people that are just going over to the food truck to order some poutine. Mm -hmm. And again, they just opened up. I see that they got a sign right there that says, thank you for coming. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That's actually where I first learned about this place. My wife actually came across it and told me about it. And me, I happened to drive by it and had said, mm, I 
going to go ahead and try it one of these days. But, uh, yeah, I mean, again, they just opened. What are we, not long ago? Um, I don't even know if they'll have any reviews yet on Google. We'll find out when we're done. Ron and I have done at least one place that we know of that had no reviews yet on Google. And that was uh, Dookie's Dogs <laughs> out in Dartmouth. Find out they had been open like 40 something years. But then they closed for a while and then reopened. Yeah, someone had just, I guess, bought the business, reopened it. And uh, I believe we were the first to leave a Google review. And those dogs are really good. So, I mean, if you haven't checked out that episode yet, please go over to our hot dog series, part four. Playlist and uh, check it out. But this gravy is really, really good and piping up. We didn't have to wait long. They make it fresher. You know, right then and there. I saw they had one that was come, and it said it had like it was either buffalo or hot sauce with it and some scallions. I definitely want to check that out. I saw that they the had taco a taco one that it said it came with like ground beef, and mm -hmm. and I, want, I would definitely want to come back and check that one out too. Me too. But that gravy was outstanding. Really delicious. Now the word is poutine. Uh, P-O-U-T-I-N-E. Some people who are not French speakers have accidentally called it putain, which is prostitute. So be careful about them. <laughs> uh, accidentally pronouncing it. But I mean, I, I definitely like it. I think they got a good thing going here. They got the pulled pork and uh, yeah, pork for poutine. poutine. They have other uh things that they the chicken. And on their sign, it says established in uh, twenty twenty four. Says eat more poutine. I would definitely agree. Eat more poutine. Yeah, I mean, they even serve stuff like just regular, you know, cheese and fries, if that's something that you'd want, too. Uh, they'll also give you fried uh, cheese curds. That's another thing that they have on their menu. Uh, the sodas are like about $2 each. Um, you know, $2. So that's not too bad. I mean, the one that I got, <clears throat> which is this, it was, uh, it came to $14 even. Yeah. Um. The poutine and the soda, two fourteen dollars. Yeah, the poutine that I got was only twelve dollars, so not too bad. I mean, again, the French fries are nice. You can tell they're they're fresh fries, hand cut fries. They're not uh, frozen. You can always tell the difference between taste and texture. And uh, that brown gravy was absolutely delicious. I loved it. I love the taste of the cheese curds. Now, mind you, cheese curds can have a pretty strong taste. But if so you can a lot of cheeses, so I mean, if you like a really strong cheese, you'll definitely like cheese curds. And not only that, but you probably had cheese curds before and didn't realize it, because if you've ever had cottage cheese, that's a cheese curd also. Uh except that's in smaller quantity, a smaller thing, and good flavor too, but not as strong. Yeah, but this is the large cheese curds, and it's got nice flavor. Uh, 
And I like the fact that it's almost like, uh, like the, the cheese that you would see for pizza, you know, the, the mozzarella. It's got a nice stretch to it, you know, which was really nice. And the customer service was outstanding. Oh, yeah. I mean, she, she, she took our order. She even told us it would be no more than five minutes. And sure enough, you know, they made it. And, and five minutes later, we were, we were having our food. Yeah, you definitely don't wait long. And like Ronan said just a little while ago, uh, there's cars that are definitely coming in here and, people stopping checking the place out ordering food so that's why i said i think they got a good thing going here i think a lot of people like it uh, i mean yes down where we are it's you know especially in this fall river between fall river and new bedford and other parts of the bristol county area there's a large uh community of portuguese and hispanics uh, and also Cape Verdeans, uh, but we still have a good amount of uh, French and Italians also. And that's where you get the poutine, which is from the French, uh, the French Canadian. Mm. And, uh, you know, each nationality in this city um, has their own specialties. We still have some Polish people here that uh, you can still get some Polish food. Uh, because I've I've had uh, Polish kielbasa, uh, and also the galumkis and the pierogies, and the kapusta, which is the 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 cabbage mm. soup that they normally they make. And there is a Polish restaurant I want to go to and check out. And uh, when we do, we'll definitely share with all of you. Yeah, and they're famous for their pierogies. A lot of people have been to it. It's the old Rockland Diner, if any of you remember yep, that. I've been there. Of being here at the VFW, let us know if you'd want us to come back and check out any of the food at the VFW posts here in Fall River or any of the VFW posts. Right. Because uh, remember, each of them will have a different cook, so we'll definitely come and check out the food here. I have been told that they got good wings, but I don't know. I've never had their food. But I, I just love all kinds of food. I always joke around saying I got a, a seafood addiction because I see food, I eat it. And that's what's nice about Fall River. There's such a, a, uh, a diversity. We've even had Greek because uh, the Metrios, the church, has uh, sometimes a Greek uh, fe uh, festival. And, when, and speaking of feasts and stuff, you know, like church feasts, it's summertime. A lot of churches are going to have feasts. Many of them will be free. Some will not be free. Uh, but either way, Ronan and I is looking at trying to check out some places like that, you know, church feasts as well as, you know, a few other feasts that are open and free except for the food um, to the public. Yeah, like the, the one that's at Kennedy Park every year. It's the Portuguese feast, as many of us call it, the Holy Ghost feast. Uh, we're thinking of seriously checking that out this year. The food is, all, you're always going to pay for the food, but you know, they've got excellent food always at these feasts. They have excellent food at always at these feasts. But, you know, with all of that, you know, getting back to the Crave Poutine, I would definitely highly recommend coming out, checking and it out. If you don't want to try the original, which is the traditional poutine like you'd get up in Canada with the brown gravy and cheese curds, I mean, try one of the other ones. You know, like the hot hen and the taco, uh, the pool pork one. Uh, again, in Canada, you can get different proteins too, but the traditional protein that you get in most places in Canada, or that said that you'd get in Canada, would be the brown gravy, fries, and cheese curds like Rona and I just had. And I, I got to tell you, the food, the service, and it's a nice, uh, the, uh, the only thing you don't see here is table, so you're going to have to eat it in your car. Uh, that would be. Or you can eat it on the hood of your car if it's yeah. nice out. So it's a stop and go. Mm -hmm. It's not meant to, um, to be able to sit down and eat. There are some people doing that. There's also some people just standing but, up and eating it. But what I'm, what I mean by, it's not a place to stop and eat. 
is because there's no tables. Mm. Uh, and that's what I'm talking about. It's Not, more of a takeout. It's a takeout. It's a food truck. Yeah. Or a trail. Same thing. Yeah. Let's just say if there is uh, any review, a Google review yet, we'll have it popping up, like, say, right about now. I will say one thing. If you're going by the, the trifecta effect, due to the fact it doesn't have any tables, it's 4.5. You know, again, I would highly recommend coming out and checking it out. Oh, yeah. It's definitely something different. It's definitely something unique. Um, I mean, yes, it's something that many people, I'm sure, have had around here, whether they grew up eating it, you know, from family members or something that may have made it, whether they're French or not. Uh, or maybe they haven't. If you haven't ever tried it at all, definitely come out, check it out. And again, check out any one of them that you want, you know, whether if it's the pulled pork, the hot head one, the traditional with the brown gravy and cheese curds or the taco one i mean again they also serve stuff with just like regular cheese fries and stuff where you can get the cheese sauce over the fries and so i mean you know with that said and for what i ate and stuff i mean i, I would have to i mean because there isn't any tables you would have to eat it either in your car or on the roof of your car standing up and eating it which is perfectly fine i don't mind doing any of that no no um but i mean i would i would give it at least a 4.8 taco fries okay i'm looking forward to that to trying that one because you know i i like my mexican food la comida mexicana oh well, that'd be more fusion fusion of course uh, so it's mixing. I'm not saying cultures. it's actual Mexican, but you know, it has a Mexican flavor. Well, fusion food is like what Ronan and I had a couple of times already on on this show. Like for instance, when we did uh, Mr. Chin's and we did the uh, crab and goon nachos, you know. Yeah, it was fusion. Yeah. Speaking of fusion, there are a lot of places around here now doing fusion foods, especially Chinese places. So if that's something that you're curious and seeing us do for like maybe say a series or just a couple of episodes, please let us know down in the comments below. Also, let us know if you'd like to, to come back to over here to try the food from the VFW or any VFW post that's around here. Leave that in the comments also. Or you can hit us up on Facebook and let us know in Messenger. Right. Uh, at the Food Lover Review Show uh, Facebook. Don't forget, we're also on TikTok and Instagram. Give us a like and follow on any one of those. It definitely helps out the, the pages. And don't forget to smash that like, share the video, and also, too, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you again. The hit Smashing the like, leaving a comment, sharing the video, and hitting that subscribe button and the bell definitely helps out the channel also. And with all of that said, you know, we just want to thank everybody from the bottom of our hearts. We love all of our fans. So, you know, we love you all. And uh, don't forget to also check out the Food Lover Review Show merchandise. As always, as you already know, it will be in the description below and also right at the end of this video. And again, like I said, we truly do. We love you all. And we'll see you on the next review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.